folks, Fat Guy Flies RC here. We're out here at the Avon Park field, and we're going to do the maiden on the bighorn. I've already done my range test, so I know I'm okay there. I've got it in low rates because just look, this is low rates, okay? And look at how much throw there still is with those great big control surfaces. I want to show you what my, uh, I'll tell you what my rates are. In low, I've got 40% movement and 30% expo, and there's still tons of movement. And 100, my high rates, see high rates? Look at that. You can't tell me that's not like a 3D model there. And my mid rates are kind of in the middle, obviously. Uh, duh, mid rates, right? And uh, so we're going to take off. Well, you know what? We'll take off in mid rates and see how we like it. We might go to low rates. I got my timer set for five minutes. Let's go ahead and do the spoken uh, range test or the uh, control server. We got right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder, and there's takeoff flaps and there's landing flaps. And I, let me real quick indulge me for just a moment. I think I've got, I, I did a, uh, flat mix and I, I just to me it just seems a little too strong had 35 percent down with full landing flaps so i'm going to change that to down to 20 percent and we'll go from there we'll do no percent on takeoff and we'll just try takeoff right now all right folks well here we go motor on we got a five minute timer we're in mid rates up. and what a sweet flying plane I got to tell you, it reminds me an awful lot of the Timber X. There, pull off a knife edge. Landing flaps. Oh, I think I like the mix I got for landing flaps. 20% down. Yeah. Oh man, what? Oh man, what a nice flying plane. Mid rates, which I have to look at the receiver. <laughs> well, maybe I do need work. She still wants to dive an awful lot, even with the landing flaps on. So that means I need to work on the the purpose of the flaps is just to slow you down not necessarily to make you dive uh, you know well, you don't want to dive though man I think I'll just fly around with flaps all day long now I'm running an AR 620 antennaless receiver just so you're aware. Flaps up. So I have no kind of gyro or stabilization of any type. Flaps. Whoa! <laughs> help me, help me! When I get used to this plane, I'll know what that sweet spot is in landing her. And, uh, let's see. Let's see how she does in the grass here.
Yeah. Yeah. Got our 3D rates, which is full 100% throws over um, 30% expo. There. Pull off a knife edge, no problem. See if we can't land her normally. Landing flap. Well, that, that I got to tell you, that green shows up real well. <laughs> hey, she stayed upright. <laughs> I tell you what, so far I am quite impressed. Like okay, this is low rates, which is only 40%. She will climb a little bit with a throttle. So let's bring her in. Sorry about the sun. Once I get her figured out, then uh, and I'll have better better luck with uh, with with landing her. I'm running a 3300 HRB. Just so you know. There, not bad at all. All right, folks, I tell you, I get this mix figured out with these this uh, flapped uh, elevator mix, then uh, I think I'll have any problem. She's flying really good, I'm very impressed. Just so you know, my high rates um, are 100% over 30% expo. My mid rates are 60 over 30% expo. And my low rates are 40% over 30% expo. And that's what, look at them ailerons and the elevator. That's what a low rates look like. That's what mid rates look like. And that's what high rates look like. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, there you go. That's the Big Horn by OMP Hobby or Ohio Model Products and uh very pleased thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and remember you wonderful folks are my only sponsors god bless y'all bye-bye